What's up Ozones, welcome to the Ozone and welcome to another Gravity Falls reaction video. I am very excited to continue this series. Uh, it's It's been a long day and I already recorded a Gravity Falls video uh, earlier today. That was the analysis video that you saw yesterday as you're watching this. Um, and I'm just so excited to kind of dive deeper into this mystery. I cannot wait. I've heard that um, like the last few episodes are pretty big for uh, the series. So I'm, I'm, I'm just dying to get to them at this point. <laughs> um, but let's, let's take it one episode at a time still. Um, we're, we're, of course, we're taking the series quite slowly, but also quite fast. Um, so yeah, we're, we're, we're getting through it. Um, as always, uh, if you want to watch the uncut versions of these reactions, you can go down and join my membership and um, and you'll get a link to a Google Drive folder where all of my uncut reactions will be. Uh, people say that they are quite quite fun and they prefer like watching the full video rather than kind of a cut version uh, because sometimes I miss things out in the final edit on YouTube. Anyway, uh, other thing is spoilers. Um, it's still a bit of an issue. Uh, I do have moderators um, deleting spoilers from my comments, but you ju you guys just cannot resist. <laughs> Even when I say don't send fake spoilers, I've had reports that there have still been real spoilers. So it's unfortunate, but what can I do? I can't really do anything. I don't really want to turn off my comment section. I don't want to have to get to that point. But if if the comments start getting even worse, then I'm going to have to do that. Anyway, um, let's get into episode number 12, Summerween. I'm assuming that's Halloween, but in the summer. <laughs> Okay. I'd lend you a hand, but I don't seem to have any. <laughs> <laughs> when the children come to my door tonight, they're gonna run away screaming from stairs. Fake blood. <laughs> Boo. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, these. Uh oh, I think this one's leaking. Oh god. I'm gonna eject the Pines family from the store. Not today! My eyes! Another smoke upon. That's number three. Best costumes, get the most candy, and have the biggest stomach gigs ever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seuss's outfit. Code. I've never seen them. <laughs> Gummy chairs, Mr. Adequate Bar. <laughs> Gummy chairs, gelatin product. Party with us. Tambry's parents are out of town and it's gonna be off the chain. Not surprised you didn't hear about it. He's gonna go. He has to go. No photos better be online. What am I gonna tell Mabel? Oh. I love that he thinks of Mabel then. Candy and Grenda. I am so sweet. I oh, they're back. Myself. Hello, Mr. Pines. You got a cold, honey? Something wrong with your voice there? <laughs> what do you mean? Why would you say that? Is Waddles coming with us? I wish he could, but he's got some very important meetings to Is attend. Waddles coming with us? Oh my god! <laughs> I love Mabel's outfit. Dude, really? You're a little old for this, man. Sorry. But wait, I... Why'd you close the door? What on earth is that? I'm not uh oh. I, am. I apologize for my brother. He came down with the case of the grumpy grumps. Silence! You have insulted me, and for this you must pay. <laughs> Twink or tweet, my name is Gorney. Oh, remember me! Oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that was ridiculous! Good pieces of candy. And bring it to me before the last Jack O'Melon goes out. I love Jack O'Melon, that's great. I will let you live. <laughs> I did not expect him to actually eat a child. What the hell? <laughs> oh no! No! <laughs> Can we have candy? 
candy now? What's the matter with you kids? That was the scariest thing you've ever seen, right? <laughs> Trick or treat! And is everybody in costume? Chimney sweep, elephant man, squeegee, ant farm. Ant <laughs> farm. I told you I'm not up to it, Mabel. <coughs> oh, really? I love his design. It's really cool. Ah, oh, sick. So love it. What's that about being too sick to wear a costume? Now, come on, Dipper. Oh, my gosh. Getting so caught up on Wendy now. She clearly isn't thinking of you in a romantic way. You've, you, oh, no. <laughs> Why? Why is there a pig jumping out of my chest? <laughs> Candy. <laughs> this is really good. He's actually doing quite a good job. It's gonna be a jump scare. There you go. So many of those sorts of videos have gotten me before. What happened? No, oh, it's quite sad. <laughs> That's really cute. The perfect time to go to Wendy's party, and no one needs to know I was trick or treating. Hey, Dipper. Oh, hey, Wendy. What happened to the Dipper who used to love Halloween? And where's all the candy? Relax, relax. I left it right here, behind this bush. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, no. Come on, Dipper. You're better than this. You need to be proud of who you are. For God's sake. I love him. Knock, knock. It's like a Batman character. <laughs> what on earth? Is it like a worm? Oh no, it's a spider. Oh God. This episode. Oh, it's oh, Zeus. Yeah. Nice. That's what he's good for. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what even is it? It's horrifying. Felt like I was getting a little too old to go trick or treating. That's exactly why we need to go trick or treating, Dipper. We're getting older. There's not that many Halloweens left. Oh. <laughs> When Mabel's sad, I, I'm so close to crying. <laughs> this way, almost there. Zeus! <gasps> no, 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 no! no. <laughs> Why? Today's been way stressful. I need some levity. Bro, oh my god! Oh, thank goodness, it was out of batteries. Zeus, <gasps> no! These people are all so freaking dumb. Don't you recognize me? Look at my face. Look closely. Oh. That's right. Did you ever stop and think about the candy at the bottom of the bag that no one likes? I'm gonna eat. What is that? What's up, bro? <laughs> okay. Oh, dude, you want some of this? Wait, you actually think I taste good? What a weird episode. I guess I'm still eating. Oh. What's up, Corny? I've been traumatized. <laughs> 
I was gonna say these two need to be scared now. Uh, wash off the shame, Stan. Wash off the shame. They're gonna see him naked. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Still got it. Still got it. I ate a man alive tonight. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this pie chart, I ate it. Mavis, please hold my calls, thanks. I can has promotion? No promotion? Casual Friday. Picked out. <laughs> okay. What a strange episode. I don't really know what to say. Um... That was definitely one of the stranger ones, but it was really funny regardless. Um, not much, um, I don't think it really fits in very much to the overarching plot of this whole thing, but it's cool. I, I like to see the um, the character developments and the relationships and bonding. It seems like Stan actually does have like a softer family side, um, regardless of like whatever's going on in the shack and in Gravity Falls. but. But yeah, he, he seems to have a softer side, which which is quite nice. Especially on, like, um, festiv festivity... It, it, wait. Especially on fest festive days. There you go. Festive days, like Summerween. That was pretty cool, though. And I have to say that, that, that those end credit screens, one of my favourite of the series. Probably my favourite probably my favorite with all the pig memes that was just so cute and i absolutely loved it anyway let's have a look at the code all right so i have typed it out here and we're going to put it in the at bash cipher so here it goes and then there we go okay so it's a y and an i and an l and an f t s g n v d l i p homework Brought to you by homework. The, it's going to be the, the, uh, the candy. Brought to you by homework, the candy. Brought to you by homework, the candy. I don't really understand that one. Brought to you by homework, the candy. I'm assuming the monster is called the candy. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to give an orange to that one, which means I solved the code, but I don't understand what it means. Um, brought to you by homework, the candy. But why would it be brought by homework? Or maybe it's, Homework, which is a type of can brought to you by homework the candy. It's probably that, but I must have missed a reference in there. Um, so we will go back in a future video to see what that means. Uh, but for now, it is left unsolved. And don't tell me how to solve it or what it means in the comments below. Anyway, let's go on to our next episode. And this one is episode number 13, called Boss Mabel. <laughs> I like that guy's style. Mr. <laughs> we got tourists at 9 o'clock. A whole bus load of them. Make some new attractions. You got it, boss. <laughs> Make some new attractions. <laughs> Doing that in the arcade episode, he got fooled by that as well. It's really funny. Uncle Stan, this is demeaning. What? I don't know. Demeaning of that word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you throw money at him. He dances. <laughs> <laughs> is he a stripper now? You are bad. How much? Hey, it's on the house. That's the Mabel difference. Thanks for visiting. Oh, Mabel. <gasps> what the heck? 
do you think you're doing? You don't make money by giving stuff away. You're off a of register duty. He is quite a smart businessman. I'm just worried about the liability aspects of things. <laughs> the legal side. You have all these dumb fake exhibits in the shack. Meanwhile, I've seen actual... I was actually going to point that out. I just didn't want to interrupt the episode. This is where Mabel's going to become the boss. And rightfully so. <laughs> and remember folks, we put the fun in no refund. <laughs> That's so good. We put the fun in no refunds. <laughs> I'd give people respect and glittery stickers. Yes, Mabel. I'd make more money on vacation than you would run. <laughs> then why don't we go on vacation? Interesting. That is a great response. I guess I shouldn't be too worried. I mean, how much money could Stan even make on vacation? Can I help you, sir? I'm here to take all the cash from your wheel. <laughs> oh. Because the real number one is you. Oh. <laughs> Morale. Walk with me. <laughs> Morale. <laughs> is a self-centered attention hog with no regard for human decency. Get him on TV! <laughs> it's actually true. That's what happens. Mabel. Stuff starting to make you sound like Stan. What? No, I'm nothing like Stan. I see how this is going. Behold, part gremlin, part goblin, the gremlin. Ah, oh, that's the bat thing from the intro. Amazing, right? I work for tips. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh my god. Yeah, managing it is, is a lot harder than you'd think. Uh-oh. How did he get out of his locked cage? Well... You gave him a break? He's an employee. Sort of. <laughs> For your five minute break. Oh, it's all going to sh oh, it's all going bad. <laughs> hey, monster! Take a look at this. No way that works. Oh my god, that works. You shut your yaps. I've been doing everyone's jobs while you bums have been bleeding me dry. But she is right. Or you could risk everything to double your money. He's gonna to risk everything. He's gonna risk everything, lose it all, and they're gonna have like a pound. Denver, we got tours at nine o'clock. But what do I show them? Real magic just freaks people out. She is becoming she is Stan. Out, Ladies and gentle tourists, this shack is filled with wonders. <laughs> oh my god. By human eyes. Behold, the horrible giant question baby. Am I a man? Am I a baby? <gasps> <laughs> that did a great job, actually. One dollar. I told you. I told you. He's gonna have zero dollars. Time's up, kids. For a chance to double your cash or lose it all, <laughs> what is a six-letter word you use to ask for something politely? Oh, oh my God. Sorry, Stan, but the word. Is... <laughs> Apparently, that word can make you money. So wait. If you lost everything, then that means, Mabel, you won! I predicted it! <laughs> I predicted it! Ah, oh, my predictions are always right. That was a really good episode. That was one of my favourites, actually. Um, I just really like that. I, I like the, um, I liked how it set up what sort of things Stan did um, as a boss at the beginning. And then it 
it kind of turn into Mabel doing her thing of like, everybody say please and thank you, sign sign rainbows. And then she slowly turned into like what Stan was and what he he was doing. I really liked that sort of development. And um, and I can't believe I've predicted it again. Uh, I don't know how I keep doing this, but I, I seem to have a good um, a good thought process of how the episodes are going to go. And I... I I don't know how I do that. I, like, maybe I'm not as good with, like, the overarching plot, but the single episodes, like, I can kind of predict where where they're going to go. And I, I was like, there's no way Grandpa Stan is leaving with $300,000. Um, and at the same time, I was also thinking, there's no way they're going to make Mabel wear the same T-shirt for the entire rest of the series. So, um, yeah, I kind of knew. I kind of knew that was going to happen. That was how it was going to play out, um, especially with one dollar falling <laughs> into profit um anyway let's get to the code all right code time for episode number 13 once again it's gonna be an app bash uh, because i see the gsv and i know the gsv now is the uh so we got s v z e b r oops r h and then GSV is the, and then we have S, V, Z, W, G, S, Z, G. Okay, heavy is the head that, okay, that makes sense so far. Heavy is the head that, D, V, Z, I, H, G, S, V, U, V, A. Heavy is the head that wears the fez. I love that. I love that. So the fez uh, is obviously the hat that um, that Stan wears. It's a style of hat. So heavy is the head that wears the fez. Um, so, oh, okay. Yeah, I, I get that. So we're saying that um, Stan as the boss has a heavy head and anyone who wears the fez, um, essentially anyone who is the boss uh, has a heavy head and um, that kind of makes them a bit crazy uh, do things that maybe they're not um, they don't think is um, very attractive but almost something that has to happen if you want to be the boss of the mystery shack so that's a cool one I like that so heavy is the head uh, that wears the furs okay the final episode for the day this is episode number 14, Bottomless Pit. I wonder what this could be about. Uncle Stan, do I really have to be the one to point out that a bottomless pit is by definition impossible? Says you. Well, I guess we'll never know. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. Okay. Are they surviving? <laughs> is the series continuing or? <laughs> they should have thrown a rock down. I'm like, Dipper is a mathematician. We've established this. He should have thrown a rock down, uh, timed how long it took to hit the bottom, and then figured out how tall or how deep the hole is based on that. Oh my god, it is deep. Oh. So, anyone want to scream some more? We're going to land on something eventually. Could be any second now. I mean, that's technically, well, it's true in real life, but like, it must be horrifying. So suspenseful, like, falling that far down. Oh my gosh. Why is everything floating up? I'll tell you a story. A story I'd like to call voiceover. Nice to meet you. My name's Dipper Pines. 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 Nice to meet you. Pines. Pines. Do I really sound like that? <laughs> I do feel bad for Dipper sometimes, how he, uh, he gets bullied by the rest of them. Good morning, Dipper. I did it. I did it. That's a great voice. I did it. Favorite Mabel. <laughs> how are you diddly doing, Zeus? Kill it! Oh, kill it with fire! <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's just trying to whack him. Hey guys! Dipper! Oh, dude, you're back! <laughs> yeah. Aww. 
I guess I realized that even though my voice might not be perfect. What is this going to do with the bottomless pit? <laughs> But what did you do with the rest of that potion? I dumped it in Stan's coffee. Any of you kids see my girdle? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's so funny? I'm Grunkle Stan! <laughs> oh. This story is called Seuss's Really Great Pinball Story. Is that a good title? They have to be like puns or whatever? <laughs> okay, so this is gonna be this episode, I guess. Sal, Gap, and of course, Poo. <laughs> Why did I laugh at that? It's so stupid. This totally beats my old best moment. <laughs> that was your best moment in your life. Uh, that's not a normal alarm clock. Oh. Crazy. That's so cool. Of Wait, that's beautiful. How are we ever gonna get out of here? Think, guys. I'm trying, but it's hard with that gorgeous pinball wench distracting me. <laughs> <laughs> are either of you good at jumping up and down and making annoying noises? Yeah, Mabel is. <laughs> Magic tonics? Zeus winning at something? Where do you come up with this stuff? I'll tell you a good story. It's called Grunkle Stan Wins the Football Bowl. <laughs> Sidekick. Footbot. Thank you for building me. Oh. Boo. Come on. Yeah, that was fake. I'm going to teach this bear to drive. And the yellow light means speed up. <laughs> the yellow light means speed up. <laughs> Stan. He needs to stop lying. I love waddles. Usually I spend the hour aggressively scratching myself in places I shouldn't mention. Now I'm going to avoid making eye contact by pretending to read this newspaper and go to the bathroom without washing my hands. Ew. <laughs> uh, Grunkle Stan, why did you write this? Because I regularly commit massive tax fraud. 2012. It says 2012. Finally, we have a year. It was probably the year this came out as well. What's gotten into you, kids? We have to find a place to get rid of these. Oh, I see. Do you see that? Oh, that's terrifying. Good. Interesting. He'll be fine. <laughs> That's great. That's amazing. This okay. is stupid. Wait. Um. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. I saw a load of numbers. I didn't see any letters. I saw numbers. Oh, the cipher's changed. Of course it has. Of course. Okay. So, about that episode, I. I actually thought it was a bit of a weaker episode. And here's here's the reason. And obviously, that's completely fine. There's going to be weaker episodes in such a good series. Like, it can't all be good. Uh, I, was I was starting to wonder how this show was just, like, perfect. But it's not perfect, obviously. It's, it's not going to be perfect. Um, I think the reason this one wasn't... It, it didn't feel as good. Um, it's because it was, it was so separated. Uh, I, I think something about the series uh, that I haven't actually brought up properly yet is that a lot of the episodes are like single standing. Um, 
So each episode kind of tells its own story and then there, there might be a plot point that kind of goes with the overarching plot and overall there's going to be character development throughout the series. Fantastic. But it's still a little bit like separated from episode to episode, which is which is a part of the reason why I really loved the time traveling episode because it connected a lot of different episodes together, especially a lot of the earlier episodes, right? Um, but this one just felt a bit too disconnected because even the episode, it, it felt like there was dissonance within the episode. Um, I found it cool how uh, while they were down the bottomless pit, uh, like it's a cool concept. Uh, while they were down there, they were each telling their own story and stuff like that. But I kind of just, I, I kind of just want to hear one story throughout, you know? I was more engaged um, when they were actually going down the bottomless pit and when they came back up, um, etc. Like strangely, it was more engaging. Um, but either way, the stories in there were funny and, and the episode still managed to make me laugh a few, uh, laugh a few times. Um, it just didn't hit as well for me. That's just my opinion though. And I'm not saying the series is bad. I'm saying that one episode didn't hit me as well as a lot of the other other ones did. Um, so now we have a situation where this ain't going to be a Caesar cipher. This ain't going to be an Atbash cipher. It's some sort of number cipher. So we're going to have to figure this out. Okay, so this one, I have a feeling is going to take a little while. So I'm going to make a new uh, cipher um, thingy. So I'm going to make a new tab. There we go. And let's just call this one numbers because we don't actually know what it's called yet. I'm assuming it's going to have a name uh, of some sorts. So let us... Uh, actually, this is going to be easy. This is going to be easy, I think. So I think what this is going to be is if we take this and put this up here just temporarily. And then here's what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste this to here. So this is just like a normal. So if I did H E L L O, that's just going to be the same letter. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be normal. But then I have a feeling it's going to be the sort of thing where yeah, I, I have a feeling it's going to be number corresponds to the letter and, and the number is the placement of the letter in the alphabet. I assume it's going to be that because, um, you know, I, I even I've done like AIG style kind of uh, codes and stuff like that and secret messages through different, um, different things. And uh, what I will say is this is a very common one if it is um, what I think it is. So it's literally just going to be all of the numbers up to 26. Uh, you will see they're going to be, yeah, cool. So it's going to go up to 26. Uh, and there we go. So now if I do 14, 5, 24, 20, let's go. We figured out the cipher. Okay, cool. That's great. That's great. So this is the next cipher. So it's just going to be... Uh, next up, and then 615, oops, sorry, 615, 15, uh, 20. I really need to try to code it so that I can literally just paste this one up here and it will do it all for me. But at the moment, I don't have a way to do that. So I'm just having to manually type it out still. Um, maybe I'll try and get that fixed for or done for next episode. 21 Grunkle, it's gonna be Grunkle. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be Grunkle. So we've got next up Footbot to Grunkle. And then 522, 514, 75. Grunkle's Revenge, but why is there a seven? Grunkle's Revenge. Grunkle's Revenge? Did I, have I done it wrong? 7, 18, 
25, 22. Is that wrong? 7, 18, 20. Ground calls revenge. I mean, I, I get what it's trying to say, at least. Um, but I don't I don't understand if that's just like a pun or if it's a miss, if it's a mistake or something. Um, but yeah, next up, footbot to ground calls re revenge. Um, and I said foot boot. Oh my gosh, footbot. Um, so that sort of makes sense. Um, that's referring to the football robot that Grand Cool was talking about in his story. Okay, so it turns out, um, modulo twenty six. I think it's called the Vignette cipher. Um, or the substitution cipher. Let's have a look. Let's look up Vignette cipher. Um. Is this, oh God, what is this? Cypher. Okay, this is not what I thought it was. I don't think, I don't think it's a vignette cypher. Oh, here it is. It's an, it's an A1Z26 cypher. This basic cypher replaces each letter with its corresponding position in the alphabet with A equals one, B equals two, C equals three, and so on. Cool, so it's an A1Z26 cypher. Okay, so I can confidently say that that is solved. Footbot to Grunkle's Gravenge. Although I, I, I'm still a bit confused about the Gravenge thing, but I'm assuming it's just like a, a pun. Um, Grunkle, Gravenge, like alliteration, but whatever. Okay, cool. So we have three different ciphers now. I'm loving this show, man. I'm loving that it's not just the same cipher each episode. And I'm loving that there are even ciphers in the first place. There are, there are even codes in the first place. It's it, This makes it such a good show. Uh, it's so enjoyable, like genuinely. Um, but unfortunately, that's going to be it for today's episode. We seem to have three pretty different episodes today. But nevertheless, it's all very Gravity Fallsy. And I am absolutely loving it. Uh, I think this series is going in a very positive direction. And I've heard... I've heard that season two is wild and I've heard that season two is more kind of like a, uh, a continuation between each episode rather than kind of like, um, you know, like I, like I was talking about with that final episode that we watched. Um, so I'm really excited to get into season two as well, but we got to finish season one first, of course, and we got to look at the, the uh, shorts between um, season one and two. There's so much content to get through genuinely, but we are going to get through it nevertheless. And hopefully it will be by the end of this month that we get through it all. Uh, I've got a lot of work to do, but thank you so much for watching today and I will see you in the next Gravity Falls video. Goodbye.